Hello, my name is Eric Lyons at the University of California at Berkeley, and I'm going to be giving a tutorial today on how to use Koji to quickly do some phylogenetics. So the first thing that you're going to want, of course, is a sequence. So if you have one, you can go ahead and copy it and save it for a moment, and if you don't, you can use Koji to search for one. And one way to do that is to use Feet View, which is Koji's tool for searching for genomic features like genes and mRNAs based on the, their names. So I'm going to type in the name of a Rabidopsis gene and go ahead and search for it. We'll go through its database and find everything that has this gene. And so here's one. And what this is is a vascular associated death one protein. Um, it's a negative regulation of programmed cell death. And we're going to use this to search a whole bunch of other plant genomes and then build the phylogeny of these sequences. So once you identify one that's good, you can just use this link to Koji Blast, uh, which is a tool for searching any number of, of genomes that are in the Koji database. And since we're going to go after plant genomes, I'm going to do a quick search for um, any genomes that have the word plant in the description. Um, this is a taxonomic description used by NCBI. And I'm going to go ahead and add in Rabidopsis lorata, Thaliana, um, Brachypodium, I'm going to cruise down and take a look for um, some other ones. Let's add in uh, Metacago and Manahot, Glycine, Cucumber, um, Sorghum, Grape, and Maize. So we, we quickly went through here and was able to pick out about nine genomes. Let's see if we can find uh, Rice. That's a good one, too. So once we've selected a bunch of genomes that we want to search against, our sequence that we previously selected is right here in the sequence submission box. This is where if you have your own sequence, you go ahead and um, copy it and add it in here just um, through copy and paste. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and just run Koji Blast. And now what's happening behind the scenes is all of these genomes are being searched um, simultaneously. Um, depending on the number of genomes that you're searching, this can take a short amount of time or a long amount of time. And there's a little status box up here on the top that'll tell you which genomes have been processed and um, how much time it's going to take for the next little status update. So when the results come back in Koji Blast, um, you have an overview of your blast. It's all the different genomes over here on the left, um, with each one of these ovals representing a chromosome or scaffold in one of these genomes. And the little green arrow is saying, I've hit at this spot. This table here gives you a list of all the individual blast hits. Um, this is sortable, so you can sort based off of HSP number or E values or the quality, which is a metric of the, of the percent identity multiplied by the percent coverage of the query sequence. Um, there's an overview where you can get a view of where this thing is hit in all these different genomes. And what's nice about the system is that these blast hits um, are linked up to a visualization system so that if you click on it, It'll show you your blast hit in the context of the query sequence, which is up here on top, and the genomic region to which it matched down here on the bottom. Now, your blast hit is drawn in yellow, and what it will do is it'll reach into the genomic database, pull out that genomic region, draw on gene models if they're available, and then find every other blast hit that matched between your query sequence and that target genome, and it'll color those blast hits as red. And what this does is it gives you a very quick visualization in order to identify the degree to which your query sequence matches some particular genomic region and any annotations that might be there. So here we can see that we have a whole bunch of blast hits that cover our entire query sequence, and they match a well-annotated gene over here in Arabidopsis lorata. Um, that's not surprising because we searched with an Arabidopsis thaliana gene. Um, so once we go through, we can take a look at all these blast hits individually, but since this is a quick tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and check them all. And what's also happening behind the scenes is that for every one of these blast hits that overlaps an annotated genomic feature, um, that will get displayed right over here. And then what we can do is we can use a system to identify these overlapping genomic features and then send them over to other analysis tools within Koji. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these sequences and send them over to create a FASTA file. And all you have to do is just check them all and say create FASTA file. Now this thing will, this program will show you all of these sequences in their FASTA formats, um, and you can scroll through them. Um, if you want to, you can translate these. All you need to do to do that is click Protein Sequences, and this will perform a translation on it. It will try to identify the correct translation by identifying a start methionine, a stop codon, and no other stop codons in the middle. And if it can't find that, it will generate um, all six reading frames for you. 
Now once you um, have all your sequences here, you can go ahead and add in more. And then if you want to do some phylogenetics, you just click this button, phylogeny.fr, and all of these sequences will get sent over to um, phylogenies.fr's phylogenetics website. And what they have is an incredible tool um, for doing phylogenetics in one step, where we'll use muscle to do a multiple sequence alignment, um, phi ML to do a maximum likelihood tree reconstruction, and then Dynatree to go ahead and generate your uh, phylogeny that you can then visualize. And so this is a one quick easy step. Here's your phylogeny at the end. You have a variety of ways that you can manipulate it within their system. And this is now just a quick uh, summary of our tutorial, which is you can begin with the sequence, use Koji's tools in order to identify putative homologs, and then there's built-in links to go over to phylogeny.fr in order to do one-click phylogenetics. Thank you very much.